the following question is that uh, the bonding in sulfur dioxide is uh, they've shown you the structure of SO2 and you're given the enthalpy change of combustion of S8 uh, which is minus 2376 and they've uh, given you the energy required to break one mole of S8 into gaseous atoms that's also given and the bond energy or bond enthalpy of uh, the oxygen oxygen double bond is also given 496 and you're being asked use these data what is the value of the S double bond O bond energy now for this you would have to draw the Hess cycle I'm going to start with the enthalpy chain of combustion of S8 and we're going to try and figure out what that is now the enthalpy change of combustion of S8 is the equation for the reaction is that one mole of S8 would burn in oxygen to produce sulfur dioxide so it's going to produce SO2 I'm going to draw the structure because I would need to count the number of bonds and I would have to balance this as well so there are eight sulfurs over here so there should be eight sulfurs on this side as well so I'm going to multiply this by eight and that would give me a total of 16 oxygens over here so there are eight SO2 molecules so that's a total of 16 oxygens so this would be multiplied by eight as well now this value this enthalpy change is already known uh, go back and have a look the enthalpy change of combustion of S8 is given as minus 2376 so this value minus 2376 is already with us uh, we need to now create a Hess cycle so we can figure out a way to figure out the bond energy of S double bond O now what's provided is that you be you provided the energy required to break one mole of S8 into gaseous atoms so breaking one mole of S8 into gaseous atoms that's what we could do so over here uh, these are my reactants this is my starting point I'm going to create another path and uh, in that path I'm going to break these S8 uh, the ones that are shown over here so I'm going to break S8 into gaseous atoms so there would be eight sulfur in gaseous state uh, leave the oxygen as it is so eight oxygen gaseous molecules as it is so eight sulfur gaseous atoms uh, this path is provided uh, breaking one mole of S8 into gaseous atoms I'm going to write down the value as well the value that's given is uh, 2232 so that's the amount of energy 2232 that's the amount of energy that is needed kilojoules per mole uh, the next part is so we we have to create another path the next part is you're given the oxygen molecule over here and you're also given the energy to break the oxygen double bond oxygen which is 496 so that's what we are going to do now so here's your oxygen molecule and I'm going to break so I'm, I'm at this point now and I'm not going to touch the sulfurs uh, so 8 sulfur gaseous as it is now I would have 16 oxygen gaseous atoms if I break all the double bonds in oxygen so uh, I would be breaking 8 oxygen oxygen double bonds and for that it's, it, the energy that would be required would be 496 multiplied by 8 so 8 O double bond O's would be broken so the energy that's required is 496 times 8 so we have uh, we're slowly creating a path now we have to reach the other end this path has to lead to this point over here so the last part is the last part is uh, that I've, I've broken the molecule down into its atoms and now I'm going to make these bonds over here and make an SO2 molecule so this over here is my last part now to make one SO2 I would need to make uh, two double bonds S double bond O how many would be made there would be two of them would be made uh, but that's for one molecule I, I need to make eight molecules so I need to multiply this by eight so that's going to be multiplied by 8 so in, in effect I'm basically making uh, 16 S double bond O's now the Hess law states that one path is equal to the other path so what that basically means is that if I if this is my starting point and this is my end point I have to reach that point so this is one path and this over here is your other path and both paths they would have exactly the same enthalpy change so we're going to start with this this is path number one so that is minus 2376 and that should be equal to this other path which is going to be 2232 it's going to be 2232 uh, then you're breaking this bond so it's 496 times 8 then 
you're making these bonds. Now, one thing that we have missed over here is that the bond energy would be negative. It's going to be exothermic because you're making these bonds. So how many bonds are you making? So I've missed out this sign over here. Remember to add this sign. The bond energy of S double bond O is going to be negative. It's going to be exothermic because, because you are making these bonds. So it has to be exothermic. So I'm making 16 S double bond O. So minus, so put a minus sign and 16 S double bond O's are being formed. And what you have to do is you have to make S double bond O the subject of the equation and you're going to get your answer. So if you rearrange the terms, uh, bring everything on this side, the S double bond O, if you make the subject of the equation, it's going to be minus 2376, minus 2232, minus 496 into 8, and you're going to divide the whole thing by 16. So now solving this on my calculator, the value that I'm getting is going to be 536 kilojoules per mole. So let's write that down. Uh, S double bond O comes out to be equal to plus 536 kilojoules per mole and that's going to be my answer uh, go and have a look this would be the correct answer for this question